Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and we are coming to you live from the Philadelphia System Open. This is the top cut play in game. Both these players were 5 and 1, and they're trying to make the top 16 here. We've got two of these games going on. We have this game going on uh, on our table. We got Kent Whitney versus Sam Page. We're going to be getting started here in a couple minutes. I'm going to work on getting some, uh, sharing the link out to the community. If you guys can help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated as well. I hope you're all doing great today. I know I'm feeling good, feeling a little bit better. I was a little under the weather yesterday, but in better health today. A good night's sleep and a good meal does, does great. Uh, yes, this is the top cut. Swiss was on Friday. Let's try to get as many people in this as possible. Let's see if we can beat our viewer count from yesterday. We capped out at around, let's, let me take a look here. We capped out at around 580. I think we can do better than that today. It's a Saturday. Have a sun in your pocket while you're shoveling snow or mowing your lawn. If you still have grass that's alive. We're going to start breaking down these lists here in a minute. And before we go too far, I do want to say that Gold Squadron Podcast is supported by the community at large. You guys um, have done a fantastic job just really supporting me, and I really appreciate it. And that's why um, I have made it ma made a, a conscious effort to get to as many events as I can because I know you guys want the content, the community supports it, and uh, we're going to be doing it. Number one is my patrons. You guys are the number one drivers of content here at Gold Squadron Podcast and are the reason why we're able to uh, do this. I want to say thank you to everybody who makes this happen. As soon as, as, soon as they're ready to go. Just, just start a clock on them? Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah. I got in permission from Ian Hamp, the marshal, to, uh, to have the official clock on our stream which is fantastic. So, sharing some of this out. Could somebody be a friend in chat and post the stream into the FFG forum? I'm on mobile internet and that thing does not load nicely uh, on here. Don't want to do anything to stream. And then I could also, if I can also get a Reddit post, that'd be great. You get lots of good vibes from Gold Squadron if you could do that for me. Uh, Facebook, I got that already. Let me know in the chat. So for this round, of course, we've been doing our giveaways. We have some community card packs. We have some Gold Squadron card packs. And some other sweet, sweet, uh, sweet, sweet swag that we'll be giving away. We're going to, working on getting some things refreshed on our side to make sure all of our alerts are going to be popping up. But we're going to be looking for a total of five subs to get our first round going. Still getting some things set up on, on this side. Sorry for the radio silence. I just want to make sure that everything is ready to go for you guys. We're going to go ahead and get our Twitch poll up. At Gold Squadron Prize, did you ship templates to prize winners? Uh, I have shipped all of the black and yellow Gold Squadron podcast templates as of Thursday, I believe it was. That's when I forked all, all of them over. Or the rest of them. I did fir first half on Wednesday, other half on Thursday. Kent. Sam 
You guys are going to choose your champion here in a minute. Should pop up on the screen. Nope, needs to be refreshed. Come on. There it is. How many made the cut? So we have uh, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So what it would be. I'm oh, sorry, no, that would be. Sorry, that's wrong. 16, 18, 19, there'd be 20. All right, we're gonna wait to, for them to get their dials set. We're gonna start breaking this down. <clears throat> On the left, we got Kent Whitney running a double Punisher, double Bomber list with what some people would consider an unconventional loadouts here. Got some advanced proton torpedoes uh, across the list. And he's got Captain Jonas, so probably expecting him to stay in a block formation or at least within that bubble. All right, gentlemen, you ready? Three, two, one, go. So that clock has started and we are, we're getting going. So looking for the first move here, that is Death Rain starting with a trajectory simulator pro, uh, seismic charge to start getting rid of some of those rocks. Those quad jumpers can be really, really bad for these ordnance touting Imperial ships because if you're on rocks, you don't get to shoot. I do find it interesting that Kent brought large rocks himself. You see, we have all three copies of each of the largest rocks. Sam Page running a scum swarm. We've seen this a few times, or similar list on Gold Squadron Podcast uh, with our very own William Hagwood rocking some, a Drea swarm. Though Sam bringing a little bit of a different loadout, opting to have Torkel Mux in the mix. Torkoal Monk has a really cool abil ability. He allows you to take an enemy ship and drop it down to initiative zero during the engagement. It's a very strong ability. But Kent, you know, brought an answer to that. He brought those seismic charges that can get rid of some of those rocks. Yeah, I'm expecting, I mean, I'm just curious whether he's probably going to go for this rock. Get that one out. Or he might even take two. He might, he might do that one this turn and then go for the other one after that. Oh, okay, the wings are modded. That's why I was looking. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the, the plan there. He's getting rid of, that, rid of that first rock, most likely on the left side. And he'll most probably one forward. Who? He was checking to see if that was range one, because if it is, he can trajectory another one and, uh, and get that top rock. You want get to rid of, get rid of those as much as possible. We might even see uh, maybe one forward reload from Death Rain. I'm going to go ahead and get, get our side stats organized in the order that the players have put their ships in. Looks like that's Jonas at the top, followed by Major Reimer. Then Red, and then red Line and then Death Rain. On the right side, we got the Quad Jumpers at the top. 
Drea's in the middle. Drea's in the middle. Oops. Get that, uh, that pole out of the way. Togo and the Pirate. Yeah, okay, we got it. So if you want to participate in our Twitch poll, type one for Kent, two for Sam. Who do you think is going to take this home? Who will be our champion? And remember, we are in second edition. And the reason, I see somebody in the chat asking, how did, how did um, Death Rain, you know, take that bomb, get that bomb out before anybody moved? We have the system phase now. During the system phase is when all bomb dropping happens, both bombs and mines. So before anybody moves, you have to launch and or drop your, um, your bomb. Anybody in the chat? Did anybody get me that uh, that FFG forum post or that Reddit post with the with the link? I'd really appreciate it. Let me know if you did. All right. Send it to Gold Squadron Podcast. Uh, it would be twitch.tv slash Gold Squadron Podcast. All right, and here is uh, Kent tossing another one of those. That's going to be just in range one of that other rock as well. And just like we predicted before, that's the next rock to go. He's opening up a huge playground for him with these quad jumpers. Hopefully, won't be able to throw his... Uh, his ships, they really want to be in short range. You have these advanced um, proton torpedoes on death rain. Now that's range one, I believe, right? Go ahead and take another look at that, that upgrade. Don't see it too often. Yep, range one. Now remember, Major, uh, Major Rhymer has that ability where he can, uh, he can flex the range on missiles and torpedoes by one. So advanced, he can advance proton torpedo at range two, something we got to... Gotta look out for. Oh, Eagle one one one. Thank you so much. Sorry, I didn't see it before. So I see somebody making a fortress in comment. Technically, he did execute a maneuver with both <laughs> with both um, Red Line and Death Rain. Now, if he were to not move again the following turn, any of his ships, then that would be a problem. But most likely what we're going to get is uh, we'll get the bombers to move first, followed by, and then uh, Death Rain will move, but the bombers will be in the way of Red Line. Giving him one more turn of stall. And Sam basically having a, a very similar idea. He wants to slow down these quad jumpers. Kent moving Death Rain. Moving him up the board. Wouldn't be surprised if we get a, uh, a reload action here. Yep, there it is. So double reload action. So he still has plenty of seismic charges. All right, and and the break begins. You know, I do like Kent's strategy here, where he's clearing the way for his his formation. It's pretty pretty sweet.
And the question is, if Sam continues to pursue, you know, right now Sam is, is, is moving faster. He's, these quad jumpers are going to be engaged here pretty soon. We, we don't want these quad jumpers to be engaged before Drea's, Drea's really far out. We also got the quad jumpers. Uh, uh, sorry, the quad jumper and the Z95 there at the top. I'd like to see Sam uh, slow it down a little bit. You, know, you, 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 you speed up here to even it out. Hmm. Okay, Dre is back in that formation. And red line, just bumping. Models flopping all over the place. It's early in the morning, low blood sugar. <laughs> it's all right, it happens. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut off that Twitch poll. We got Sam ahead 64% to 35%. And I'm joined by Andrew Knuckles. I'm in a much better mood than, than yesterday, so I'm actually <laughs> going to talk on stream. <laughs> <laughs> so what do, we, what do we got going on here? We got a, you know, a really interesting matchup, I think, because you know, Kent brought these Imperial ships with ordnance and brought a solution for the quad jumper menace, as the Imperial players probably look at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? So he brought, thank you, Brad, for your, your patron. He brought seismic charges. So he set up Death Rain in this spot where he's like, he blew up a rock. He blew up a rock. He's going to come up. He's going to come blow up that rock. He says, all right, now we're going to fight on this this third <laughs> of the, this half of the board where the quad jumpers are, they can't do anything. They're just two dice guns. So, so he's already blown up two rocks out of the entire field. That yep. is, I mean, hey, that's that's how it works. Um, now, now you do see pay, uh, Sam here coming in with uh, two fire teams, which is, I think that's what you have to do, especially when you're going against bombs. And it's like, well, you can bomb one of these guys, or, but I still have a whole other, a whole other uh, little pod coming in. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see. I'm, I'm reading the lists here. I kind of already knew what Sam was going. We, we were talking yesterday. Um, barrage, advanced proton torpedoes. That's interesting. Oh, and cluster missiles. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Um, what's Rhymer's ability? Rhymer's the one that can flex the range by oh, one. Oh, that's why it's good. Okay. Yeah. So he can do cluster missiles out to three, and then he can do protons uh, advanced all the way out to two. That's pretty solid. Yep. All right. So the people think that Sam had the advantage in this matchup. But I'm telling you, Kent had a had a plan. He came in, like his setup was perfect. He had it so you saw him. He took his range rulers yep. and he was like measuring out the rocks. <laughs> like, all right, that one's there. Okay, range one. All right, that one's there. And just it was like he did exactly what he wanted to. He's executing a plan yep. that he's made for this matchup. And the question is, you know. <laughs> Like, some people would, might say, like, oh, well, well, Sam might have to stay farther back and just stay in the rocks that you have. Whitney would just come like, well, you know, he's reloaded both times. So yep. He still has two, two seismic charges. Like, well, I'm going to blow up this one. I'm going to blow this one. I'm going to yep. re recharge. And then eventually we got none. So well, it's a really interesting predicament that he puts Sam in. Yeah, well, the, the thing is, too, um, uh, the, no, like the amount of damage that, the, um, that Sam's list can actually push out it's really, I mean, it's really impressive. Um, you get those re-rolls with Drea. Um, you, you pump something down with Torkoal. Uh, it doesn't even get to shoot. Like, I mean, like, it, it's, it's like a pseudo-alpha strike. Um, and it definitely really has the, uh, um, has the potential. But the problem is, you know, like, without, without having the rocks to kind of protect you, yep. it's going to be really hard for him to, uh, to do it. And this turn... Um, you may actually see Sam back up both of those tugs, so yeah. he doesn't get uh, so he doesn't get bombed. Yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, uh, people are asking, "Is this the cut already?" Yes, we. The Swiss was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how many games do we have for them today. We got five, right? 
We have five, five games. We got the this playing game, top 16, 8, 4, and the, the final. So we got five games for you. <laughs> um, so I have a couple people asking me stuff. Uh, uh, Jonathan Young actually did send you your tokens, uh, uh, I think, on Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> 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 if, if I remember correctly. Thank you for, thank you for the Moldy Crow because I got to use it this weekend. <laughs> Yep, here's the uh, uh, here's the trajectory simulator. Going to go ahead and uh, one pop more. out that seismic. Yeah. Ooh, I think uh, he's that actually just short. out. Yeah, wasted bomb. Kyle Thompson, thank you so much for becoming a patron. So, so we're going to be doing some Patreon exclusive raffle uh, giveaways as well as the Twitch giveaways if we can uh, meet our subscriber count. We did really well yesterday. Got 77 subscribers total on Twitch, which is awesome. We also got a bunch of uh, new subscribers on our YouTube channel. We're trying to get that YouTube number to 5,000. I'll take a peek on it in the next uh, next planning. Hey, um, because I, I think it's both of us, we're not super familiar with Death Rain. The reason to launch that bomb is after you launch a bomb, he gets an action. Oh. So it's... it's there, there's it's, no, almost no reason for him to, to not do it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's fair. Asteroids are extra. Those are bonus. Those are bonus, yeah. <laughs> okay, th yeah, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Um, okay, so we have the... Uh, we have the whole, both fire teams uh, kind of rushing in here. And Death Rain's a four... Yeah, he's a four. Um. Yep, we got fours and a five. Somebody asking, if I became a patron yesterday, do I get put into the patron drawings? Yes, you do. We have two separate type of patron drawings that happen. People who are the week of. Uh, no, um, uh, I'm not sure how and much you overall. hyped it up yesterday. Oh, I, I, I teased them a little bit. <laughs> I teased them like, wait, what? <laughs> um... Uh, but aside from the, uh, well, looks like we, uh, sorry, we got a we got a range of check lock. here. Yep, it's got lots of options. This is giving him information also on what his other ships are going to be able to shoot next this turn. Yeah, so you kind of have to you want to you want to maximize. And there he goes. Oh, that's a cute little target lock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People asking if any dash got into the top cut. I think one did, right? Uh, maybe one, I think. Soy Mc. Uh, Soy Mc. Then there's you. two, uh, two B, two B winglets in the in the top cut, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get with some of those B wings next. Uh, yeah. Next round. Dude, I mean, uh, I, I lost to it yesterday in the final round. Um, got a uh, lock here. That is a good list. Just like, for what out. it does. Uh, yeah. Looks like we got uh, the Z. So Kent having to split his fire pretty early on. <laughs> I love that it's smaller. Jedi Scoop, thank you for becoming a patron. Uh, for one of the questions, um, uh, no third-party bomb tokens are legal in tournament play. Mm -hmm. um, regardless of, of how, um, accurate they are. how accurate they are. Um, <laughs> because the, the FFG ones are actually notoriously inaccurate. Yep. Um, but uh, just, just how they have the rules written, no, you cannot use... Uh, uh, like, I doubt anyone's ever really going to call you on them. But uh, you you would have to have the uh, the cardboard ones ready to go. Yep. Um, if, if someone was like, I would rather you use you know whatever. But um, but so yes and no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. 
So we got got combat here coming on here in just a second. Engagement uh, looks, time. Looks like we have tons of uh, of shots going on here. Red line uh, focuses. He's trying to figure out who he wants to shoot. Uh, you know, I actually want to say that um, this is a really hard matchup for Sam, um, just because of the amount of uh, front loaded damage that mm -hmm. Kent's list can output. All right, so it looks like he took, so he, he took target locks on three different ships. He's got a target lock there, there, and there. Yeah, so he, he is split firing, yep. so, uh, you know, you could fail, but he's, he's pretty much fully modified on everything here. Torquil Mux uh, ability. Trying to, trying to see if he can grab red line. I guess he's doing death fire. Uh, not, not a bad call. Yep. Um, probably the only one he had in range, so. I like that. <laughs> he's got the illicit token yep. to mark that. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. Clever. All right, so here we go. This is red line. Uh, red line. Uh, I'm Proton assuming torpedo. Z. Just trying to wipe wipe a ship out. Ooh, it's already a pretty good roll. Yep. Here comes a lock. Look for pain. Yeah, ooh. ooh, that's gonna be hit three crits. That's gonna hurt. All right, gonna defend with two. Got one evade. Uh, he, one might, evade. he might live. Ugh, I don't know. I, I, I'm so used to watching Zs just pop when they get that last crit. Nope, not, not a blinded, blinded pilot. pilot. Okay, it's not, not terrible. He doesn't get any mods. So yep. so he's not able to uh, to modify his dice unless he has the force, and he's not a force pilot. So yep. uh, not that for hurts. that ship. Yep. Yeah, even the dryer rerolls don't even help there. Can't do anything. Nope. Jonas reaching. I think he is just out on that one. I think he's probably going at that lead quad jumper, Barrage Rockets. He's got Jonas. His, his, he can and use there his own it ability. Is. Yep. Full string. All right, so that's going to be hit crit. Into that quad jumper. Man, direct Go figure. Direct hit. <laughs> <laughs> Down to two already. Yep. So we got half points and half points on uh, on two of his ships, and only two of his ships have shot so far. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, like like I said, like I was saying, the, the front-loaded damage is uh, is so tough to to get by. It's just Especially when you have a bunch, you have a bunch of small ships. Yep, and this is this is cluster missiles. Two hit, and okay, looks like you can survive that. I think you, yeah, yeah. you just spend it. There's no reason not to. You die. Yeah, yeah you die. <laughs> you, have two, well, you only have two <laughs> left, and he's gonna. He, he's, I wonder if he's gonna use the cluster missile ability to fire again. He's not. Uh, I guess not. Maybe maybe that was the only thing that was in range. So we got Drea. It looks like we're going on the death fire here. And I, yeah, I think you pretty much have to try and just burn death fire as much as you can. Oh, that hurts. She just, she can't reroll herself. So yep. Torkoal range the, three. Torkoal's the damage in this list, pretty That's much. That's right. Look at my three guns. Oh, there we go. There we go. Not bad, yeah. I'll, takes take, two. I'll take two. And that's on red line. All right, and that was into death rain. Sorry, not red line. Yeah. The, lo the rules lawyer. I think that got us to our five subscribers. We're going to be doing some giveaways this <laughs> round. Uh, so it looks like we got range three on the quad. Probably death rain? Just barely barely getting it in. Oh, Hit there we go. Crit. Doesn't even need it. Uh, I th think if you're... I oh, he didn't... Yeah, just take the shield. All right. Yeah, because you, you, you still you still, still, still want to shoot. Yeah. yeah. Um. Especially when you have uh, two or three other shots coming into it. Yeah, that's very true.
Boom. One. And Dre, a reroll. There we Got go. It. Yep. Guar uh, almost guaranteed, maybe. Let's get Double check yeah. and make sure it's range three. Yep, there it is. Take There's a crit. crit. Direct, Direct hit. hit. Another Ooh. one. This is uh, this actually could be getting pretty hairy for uh, for Death Rain here. You just need uh, two more solid shots. It's down now, now the Z doesn't get to modify its dice. That's that's the big right. thing. So he's just hoping for natties there. I think you I think you shoot with the Z here first instead of the quad. He's he uh, he reached out for that quad jumper. Yeah. Though. Drea. Oh, there oh. it is. Takes ah. one. He's, he's been just, rolling he just, one yeah, every just, time. Just rolling that one. That's <laughs> all you need. Range two from the Benari Pirate. Oh, just one. one. No oh, rerolls. No, no, nope. no rerolls. Ah. No. Okay, it, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the universe hurt us. Man, he is, he is rolling those evades like <laughs> money. And they, okay. They, they had, <laughs> the audience can't hear, but he wait, he was like, "Wait a second, I just cheated." It's <laughs> 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 all right. The universe knew. Don't worry, Sam. No worries. All right, and here's Death Rain against the Jakku Gunrunner. Spending a he, charge. He, pro he probably kills the. He probably kills the Gunrunner here. Oh, yeah, there it is. There hit, it hit, is. Crit. That hurts. He needs natties. Oof. Not enough. Nope. Ends with a structural damage. If you're not familiar with that one, that is the one that reduces... Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> structural damage reduces your agility <laughs> by one. Dion's playing with his, uh, his fancy stream deck. I love it. All right, so quad jumpers down. Uh, Kent pulling ahead here, forty to thirty. Though with with the the amount of dice that Sam has on his side of the table, if he could not lose a ship this uh, turn, it be... you got you got to try to take something out next turn. Yeah. He, oh, oh yeah, yeah. He's got forty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So math. <laughs> How does it work? The Z ninety five. Do you? Use it as a blocker. This oh, absolutely, turn? yeah. Right, yeah. You just you just get get it in there as much as you can. Um, so we have on red line just proton torpedoes. So no no advanced sensors, no trajectory no. sensors, nothing fancy like that. No shenanigans. Um, you're probably gonna try. You're probably gonna see. Honestly, out of depth, out of um, red line, I'm honestly not really sure. I think red line's backwards on his base. Uh, no, they, uh, he has his wings modded so that they go oh, forward. Oh, were they forward? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was weird when I was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, now, I will say this is definitely um, a very, like, this is where, you know, like, Sam's list is going to start excelling. Yeah. Because it, it gets into that clinch, um, and it just says, no, I'm going to move you onto this rock. Yes. You're going to deal with it. Um the only problem is, is that uh, we're just probably going to see a seismic um, yep. just drop onto that rock right there. And uh, so even if you um, tractor beam death rain to try and move over it, it's going to be gone by the time it happens. But he'll yep. take a damage for it, I guess. Yep. Yeah, you're going to sweep sweep the leg there. Yep, uh, that's that's definitely going to be a three bank out of the out of that quad. Um, I think I think you just bring uh, Torkel like just also that far in too, just to get him into that range one dice spot. Um. C95. So you're trying to block up red line, right? Try to keep him so he can't get his actions.
Hmm. Um, I'm going to have to probably leave you in just a yeah. minute. Yeah, I mean, you're going to go pl go play some pods, try to try yeah. to get some of that swag. Uh, pods, or I may I may just do the qualifier. I don't know. I'm st I'm still debating. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I just I had to come and uh, follow your heart. Come, <laughs> come come and do just a little bit. And here I have some I have some Scotch whiskey just for you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> just make sure you drink responsibly while on stream. Correct, always. <laughs> This is this is this is my. We did the finals. Opa. Yep. Um, all right. Well, uh, have fun streaming. Boom. Yep. I'll maybe be back later. I don't know. It just depends on how bad I do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Go have some fun, man. Yep. Thank you to Andrew for joining us. Oh, Andrew, when you have a second, I need I need that picture. Oh yeah. 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 All right, fantastic. Andrew Andrew has has some uh, some sweet sweet uh, a sweet prize that he's donating uh, for the giveaways here for some upcoming product he's got. And uh, those large tokens are actually for sale at curledpawcreatives.com. Re that redirects you to their Etsy site. They're made by Curled Paw. And uh, Andrew Knuckles, who you just heard, is the uh, is the owner, proprietor, CEO, CFO, all the O's <laughs> of Curled Paw Creators. He does a wonderful job and um, huge sponsor of Gold Squadron Podcast. And uh, he made he designed these for us, these, these larger size tokens, and um, they they turned out great. Enough people wanted them that he's made them publicly available. So go ahead and uh, track them down over there. And don't forget to use the code UNPLUG2018 for 15% off, and that expires on Monday. You can use it on Monday, but not on Tuesday. Don't text Andrew and ask him to use it on Tuesday. you got to use it on Monday. Super excited to be giving away some stuff today. How do you become eligible? Well, you have a much higher chance of winning a giveaway by becoming a subscriber on Twitch, and even a higher percentage if you become a patron this week. We're doing some patron-exclusive uh, giveaways for patrons of this week and all of our patrons at large so super excited about that lots of cool stuff uh, that we'll be talking about more later so Sam's got some some uh, some decisions to make here the Z95 I'm curious to know how fast it's gonna go I mean you want you want to you want to stick them in there but the, the, you gotta be careful though because Redline could hop over you I'm thinking maybe you do something like a, a two forward might get you, or maybe maybe oh maybe a three or a four. It's, it's it's scary to go super aggressive in there. You might get jumped over. The rules lawyer um, to win on tw uh, to win a giveaway on Twitch, like uh like it's just a Twitch viewer giveaway. You have to be watching, but if you're a patron, you do not have to be watching. Patrons' prizes are 100% guaranteed. Because I have your address and all that stuff already. So, done. Easy. Alrighty, so we got Death Rain moving to the right there. Quad Jumper. So that move to the right was uh, Kent using his Death Rain boost to block up that Quad Jumper. Very clever using Death Rain's ability to, uh, to get into a blocking position. CNN 5, 3 bank. Well, the rules lawyer, if you're, if you're a patron, uh, you, you're already in the running, so. Oh, my, my sexy mods. Yes, yes. All my mods are getting a t-shirt. Getting you guys a t-shirt. You guys get a free Gold Squadron podcast t-shirt for helping me out. All the work you guys do. You are awesome. Focus on that quad jumper.
All right, and does Torkel fit? Uh, not quite. She's going to get a range one shot onto Death Rain. Isaacar, yes, I will be needing your address. I just, I wasn't ready to say it, but you were curious, so I just told you. It was not in the plan. You know me. I, I get excited. I blurt out things that probably shouldn't. Spoilers. All right. Nice. This is a great move by Kent. Awesome foresight. You know, he did that advanced, not advanced sensors, but he did the, uh, the boost off of his toss of bomb, got in this awesome 4K position. He's going to be out of range of, of the seismic, uh, and he is behind the formation with a target lock on Torco Mux. Great play here by Kent Whitney. Yeah, Isaacar, I'll need all the thing. All right, target lock on Torco. I think Torco's going bye bye. I mean, that is one of the most dangerous pieces in Sam's list, being able to drop a ship to zero um, and, and setting up that initiative kill. Andrea moving forward, just keeping that arc wide. Then takes a lock on that red bomber. So we'll get a, a, uh, a block here. Red line to the Z95. That's going to be a bump. Looks like he might still have Torkoal Mux in the arc. X-Wing Judge helping out there. Thank you to our judging staff, by the way. They work very hard, doing a great job here at this event. Seismic charge going off here. So looks to be just out of range of there, but the Gunrunner and Drea are going to be taking some damage. Take that. And then it's going to take the other quad jumper and the Hawk as well. That seismic charge did a lot of work there for Kent. All right, initiative zero on Major Reimer. Using Torquil Mux ability. He's taking a range two shot on the Jakku Gunrunner. Here we go. Double crits. I mean, that's, that's nice when you don't have any mods. They just, sometimes they just come up. All right, spends that focus most likely. Yes, he does. Takes no damage. <clears throat> All right, so we got the next ship coming up here.
Advanced Proton Torpedoes coming from Death Rain into Torquemux. Five dice has the lock there. There it is. Roll it. And that's going to be a full string. You're changing one to a crit. Nice. Two crits. One bounces off the shields. We'll see what that other crit is. It is a weapons failure. Weapons failure reducing the uh, attack value of Torquemux by one. Jonas should be up next. And, you know, you, you pay for that moldy crow, you want to have every single one of those dice. All right. Checking range there. Midwest scum, hello. Dion. All right, barrage rockets coming from Jonas. Reroll using his own ability. Spends a focus. Hit, hit, crit. And nothing comes up there. Hit, hit, crit going into the Jakku. And the crit is... Disabled Power Regulator. That's one of our new ones in 2nd Edition. So, before you engage, you take an Ion token, which is going to happen this turn. So, it's going to be Ioned. Alright. Spending a lock here. Takes two. Nothing comes up there. Taking two on a rhymer. Toko range two on the same target. In the Jokus. Spending the focus for one. Only had two dice because of the uh, weapons failure. Taking another haul there. Rhymer's at half. Checking range here. That's range in arc. Looks to be range two. All right, going into Rhymer again. Reroll one with the Drea ability. Got two. Rolls nothing. Taking two more. Rhymer down to one hull. All right, this is the last quad jumper. He could do it. He could take him out. Dreo re-roll. That's it. That could be it. He's got to roll natties to keep him alive. Rhymer's off the board.
Wound, dead, wounded pilot gets taken out of the deck. So these guys are neck and neck, 78 to 75. Great action here in this top cut playing game. Both players doing a great job. Dumpster Fire Red, thank you so much for your subscription. Pirate, range one into Jonas. Gets nothing. Pirate currently has that blinded pilot. All right, we are back to dials. Man, these guys, these guys are bl bl bloodbath here. It's actually a really exciting game. Really, really close. Kent just barely ahead. Looking at, uh, looking at the board state, though, I think Kent's a little bit farther ahead than it might sound. You got this Jakku Gunrunner at one hull. You got the Pirate at one hull. It's going to be really easy to uh, initiative kill both of those. Uh, and just get get them off the board. Oh, and they have the disabled power regulator. I'll go ahead and grab the judge. Judge? Judge? Yeah. Okay. Scruffy Rogue 71. Like that comment. Bloodbath and beyond. That's hilarious. That's an easy one to forget. Good morning, Catherine. Okay, so looking at some possible moves here. Looking for... So Dre has a four. Torkoal's a two. Right, Death Rain has an easy one forward here. All right, you end up going one. That's terrible. <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> Got a one forward. Um... There's no way to bump unless this quad jumper backs up too. That could be cool. You would end up blocking it. Torkoal Mux though, that he's he's the wild card here. His ability be, to be able to drop something to initiative zero is uh is devastating because he has the possibility of being able to take out you know one of these one of these ships uh, initiative kill it though he has to just Sam has to have enough ships to ships alive to do it And somebody in the chat mentioning both these lists must hemorrhage MOV. Um, yeah, I mean, they do. But in the in the system open format, MOV barely matters, to be completely honest. It, uh, it only matters for placement in the top cut, but you just got to win. Which, honestly, I prefer. I really prefer the, uh, that format. You, just, you, you, get, you get your number of wins. Don't worry about it. The MOV, just play, play your games. Yeah, so uh, people are asking how many players made the cut here. So there were two spots and four people left. So that would be 18. 
So those bottom four people did a little doing a little playoff. Uh, new to X Wing, what's MOV? So MOV is margin of victory. Uh, when I win a game, or when you win a game, you earn the points that you killed, you destroyed, of your uh, of your opponent, plus whatever you have left on the board. So that that can go anywhere from 200 to zero. Excuse me, anywhere from 400 to zero. So it's just this, basically this, the, uh, this, the part of the scoring. All right, quad jumper just goes one forward. Thinking about, there it goes, there's the tractor beam. Are we gonna get some motion there? Hard stop with the Hawk. Let's try and get in the way. I like it. I, I actually forgot that uh, the Hawks have stops now. So that's going to be able to reduce one shot on, uh, on Torkoal. That's good. Got to get used to that. And caught off guard a few times there. 5K. You know, Sam chose not to move uh, that bomber if he would have barrel rolled him this way as far back as possible, he would have bumped into Torkoal. Being able to take away that range one shot. So there's the bump from Death Rain and removes the stress. Drea banking in. Probably, I'm, depends on what his priorities are here. Does he want to rotate that? Yep. Yes. All right. Rotates that to uh, ship's left, our screen right. Has Jonas and Death Rain in the arc. And red lane is swooping in. But no block there. That's going to be a range one shot into Torkoal. So I think this round of, of maneuvers goes to Kent. He's able to, to really maximize the uh, number of shots onto Kent's, onto Sam's most dangerous weapon. Somebody asking, uh, yes, Sam is using the curled paw arc indicators, and you can get your own of those at curledpawcreatives.com. Use that coupon code UNPLUG2018. They're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Love them so much. Making Jonas a zero was his decision there. Probably to at least get a shot there. Red line, nothing at range one. Unable to capitalize. Death Rain goes next. He's going for the one health Z95. He has no, uh, no locks, no way to modify his dice. Nothing. So Drea's up next. I'm gonna use that dorsal turret to fire. 
And that is, sounds like it's range one. Hit crit coming into Jonas, and he's taking them both. What's that crit going to be? It is a damage sensor array. That, that can be bad. Um, so damage sensor array, you're only allowed to do focus actions. No target locks anymore, and he has all that ordinance on him. Weapons failure here. The only one takes it. Z95 from downtown. Got one. Yeah, and no Drea reroll there because of the blinded pilot on the Z95. Oh. And Jonas is at range one. Torkoal has two hole left. Seeing if he can, uh, looking for some dice luck here. Hit crit, could do it. He's got two unmodified dice. Torkoal's gone. Dies with a structural damage. And while Sam did lose Torko Mux, you know, he was able to capitalize on the fact that, uh, <laughs> unfortunately for Kent, that Kent didn't roll well with, uh, with Death Rain in that opening to try to initiative kill Torko Mux. And uh, Sam was able to take advantage and, and get some points out of it. Ken's still ahead though, 102 to 96. Sam, close by. So as we're waiting here, I want to remind you guys of a couple other other promotions we got going on that uh, help Gold Squadron Podcast out. And it's talking about our swag. Have you seen our design for the Gold Squadron Podcast t-shirt? It's brand new. It's super awesome. And the t-shirts are extremely comfy. We're getting them printed on a premium style t-shirt. And they're for sale on goldsquadronpodcast.com. You can use... That same coupon code, UNPLUG2018, to get 15% off of your order. We are shipping internationally. Show your love for Gold Squadron Podcast in your local area. Rock that Gold Squadron Podcast t-shirt. Super awesome. Has some, uh, some pilot helmets on it, some Y-Wings. Says Gold Squadron. I mean, it's all, all kinds of just really awesome artness. We commissioned the art. Super fun. We wanted to make sure we have a super awesome t shirt. All righty, here we go. Alrighty, Quaddy backing up here. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Sam throwing tokens across the land. Does the other tugboat back up as well? Two bank from the Z95. Clears the stress. Does a focus. He can only use it on defense. Not on offense. And we are waiting for the next ship to move. 
All right, here comes Jonas. Two bank, we're gonna have to mark the gun runner. This game is a game of millimeters. I'm gonna try to make it as accurate as possible. I know we've all had those super, super close arc calls. So they're marking the ship getting out of the way so that the template can be all the way flush. That little bit matters because that can get him slightly out of the Jagu Kun Runner's uh, arc. Placing that gun runner back. There's red line. All the hands in the mix. And Death Rain just bumping forward. And probably, yep, yeah, it's 4K from Red Line. Takes his stress. Red Line should have, will have range on that uh, quad jumper that's touching Death Rain. And it is time to shoot. We're going downtown at the Pirate, trying to get rid of him. Sam is going to have three dice with a focus here. Okay, they didn't finish moving. I was like, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. And one hit. Should be fine on three dice with a focus. Got it. Natty's. Jonas, range one at the Jagu Gun Runner. Three hits. It's going to be taken two. That Gun Runner is off the board. Range two at the Pirate from Death Rain. Nothing. That Z95 refuses to die. And here comes Drea, dorsal turret at the Punisher. Got one. No dice there for Ken. He's down to two. Kent started the game strong. Sam is making it a game though. Dice fell down there. Two hits. Nothing there. Jonas going down. So Sam pushed ahead here 117 to 116. One point off. This is a close game. 12 minutes left. Do the Jakku gun runner is stressed? Thank you to Machinator for your sub. This is the tight game, one point. 
Sam's going to want to keep that Z95 alive. Where can you put it where he can't get shot? I don't, I don't think there is a spot. The Jakku can't turn around, can't back up. Death Rain has the stop available to make sure he gets a shot on at least Drea or that quad jumper. Quad jumper's pretty healthy, has four hole right now. But at the same time, red line is very healthy. He hasn't taken any shield damage at all. I would say best case scenario for Sam, if you can get rid of Death Rain and keep all your three ships alive, you have an opportunity to win. But I think as soon as he loses one of those ships, um, it is heavily in Sam's favor. Excuse me, in, uh, in Kent's favor. And one thing we have to, uh, we can't, uh, can't ignore is that Redline still has one Proton Torpedo. There's a charge right there. Z95 needs to get out of town. But I'm not, I'm not sure that he can get far enough I think he ends up bumping into that corner. If you do a four forward, I think you might bump the corner of red line. We'll have to see. Now, red line, Death Rain also has Jedi 2210. Thank you so much. Has, uh, has the ability to drop one of those bombs. Does he have bombs still? He does not. He's out of seismic charges. So no shenanigans from Death Rain. There's a four forward. Oh, looks like it's going to fit. 4K. All right, he wants to keep those guns on the death rain. See if he can get the block on the red line. Optimizing his chances. Two bank. Clears the stress. All you, all you can really do is focus there. Barrel rolling's not going to help. Three bank. Interesting. <laughs> I guess that, that, that barrel roll back is looking really good <laughs> right now. I really thought he was going to do 4K there. I really did. He's going to be able to boost out of range. Drea should be able to shoot Death Rain still. She, she can rotate that arc. And I think from the positioning of, uh, of Drea, I think he was anticipating a, maybe a hard turn from Death Rain. And one bank from red line, that's going to be overlapping. No action there. That's good for Kent. He doesn't want red line to be able to uh, focus target lock and uh, shoot out those proton torpedoes. They're just double checking, making sure it does in fact bump. And it's time to uh, get into the engagement. All right, it's time for combat. Red line should be going first. 
Range two on to Drea. Or the Jakku. It's going at the Jakku Gunrunner. Hit crit. They made the agreement that anything outside of the box is a reroll. That was before the game. And one hit coming from Drea. Got the evade. Does the Z95 have anything from downtown? I think he's just in. He's got it. Two dice. The Z95 has been, uh, has been persistent. Two hits. One evade. Death Rain lives on one. The Z95 is going to continue to try to be in Redline's way, though we got to remember Redline does have access to the hard stop if Kent wants to do that. But having those modifiers, you, you, you want them right now. And when the, sco when the score is, uh, is this close, do they know the math is the, uh, is the big question. Do they know it's this close? And I, I, I doubt it is. <laughs> We'll see. All righty. Both these players have played a great game. It's a good way to start out our stream this morning. The players did ask for how much time they have, so they, they are aware of where they are. Looking at the chat, I see Midwest Scum saying he's tracking his Gold Squadron podcast templates that he ordered, and uh, they're going to be at his house today. That's awesome. does all the charges are updated on the ships that are alive and that matter <laughs> they each have one none in the bombs one on the advanced proton torpedo for death rain hard two has access to the boost if he wants to try to get some distance there he is I think Kent knows he's behind. He's actually set his dials for next turn already. Now, if if time ends before they get to the planning phase, those those dials are null. That's important to uh, important to note. Bumps. Not going to be able to shoot that. Uh, Shoot that Z. Drea, one hit, got an evade. Darcy turret is out. Jakku Gunrunner is going to have range three shot. Oh, I guess they determined it was out of arc. And Ken already set his dial, one minute 43. Kent feels that he's behind. He's tr he's right. He's right, but I don't think he knows how close he is. <laughs> this is probably going to be the last turn, most likely. Yeah. 
And if Sam just continues to uh, keep that Z95 in the way of Redline, that uh, that's gonna that's gonna be to his advantage. Though again, Kent does have uh, uh, access to the hard stop. He's turning to the right, anticipating that move from the uh, from Death Rain. This might be a bump as well. That's close. Actually, I think that fits. Yeah, medium base. It's going to fit. Oh, this is going to come down to this attack right here. That's going to be hard, too. That will be in range, too, for dorsal turret. Going to drop that focus. Red line. The issue here is half of red line is worth more than any one of these uh, any one of these half points left on any of these ships. So this he there's to target lock. There's the focus. He's got to take out two. He's got to take out one and a half ships. He's got to he's got to kill both the Z and take half Adrea in order to win this game for Kent. Sam needs to kill Death Rain and not die. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Advanced proton torpedo. It's time. Three hits and a crit. Got the evade. Shield. Hit. Crit. Damage sensor array. Does get half points there. Damage sensor rate doesn't matter, but that's the one where you do not get actions. Range one, spends a focus. Gets an evade, spends the focus. Takes that last damage, console fire on the Z95. All right, Drea, dorsal turret. Hit crit. That That's gonna kill Death Rain. 150, 147, the quad jumper has to take for not enough. <laughs> that's that's the game. <laughs> it's one fifty to one forty seven. Yeah. By three. <laughs> they didn't know the score. It was gonna save them the heartache from counting it themselves. <laughs> Well, thank you so much to Kent and Sam for playing. Congratulations, Kent makes it by a three-point game. This is an awesome way, absolutely awesome way to start our streaming coverage here from the Philadelphia System Open. <laughs> so um, the next round is starting up really, really quickly. So we're going to do some really fast hits on our, uh, on our giveaways here. We're going to go ahead and do three of our card sets. So let's go ahead and get that done because I want to make sure I'm ready and prepared for the next round. Not sure who's here, who's not here, but we went all the way to time. So we don't wanna we don't wanna get, get caught with our uh, with no game. So I'm starting up the uh, the giveaway machine. Okay. There we go. That's done. We're gonna go ahead and start with three sets of our uh, our rebel card pack. You got Nora. Lorik, Fenn, and Dutch Vander all together. Here we go. Three sets of those getting given out. Looking for my Google Drive. There it is. First set is going to be going to a person. Where did my button go? Make this screen a little bit larger. There we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. First giveaway is won by... Robert, Robot Hesh, congratulations. Let's go ahead and this was. Boom, Robert Hesh. 
Next one, three, two, one, bam. Vacon. Remember, all you have to do is be in the chat to be winning. And the third set is three, two, one. Here we go. Whoop, whoop. Whoa, that's a name. Skedgunava. Skia, Doug, and Gunva. <laughs> Awesome. So if you win a prize, how do you get your prizes? Let's go ahead and talk about that really quickly. What you do, you got to send me your full name and address uh, either through the Twitch chat, Whisper System, or through Facebook page of Gold Squadron Podcast. Uh, make sure to include your Twitch handle in there if you want through Twitch. If you want through Patreon, I have all your information already. You don't even got to worry about it. And let's go ahead and, uh, and pop over to Patreon really quickly and give one of those sets away to one of our new patrons here. Loading, loading. Hope you all are doing good today. Winning through Patreon ends up being that's right. You just you just like oh I got, I got some stuff. <laughs> just shows up, just shows up. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and look here. Open up. Do, 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 do. Come on, Internet. I have my computer so that it gives priority to the stream. I have this, uh, this program where I can allocate my... I want Panera Trips. <laughs> Tret, you know what? Where, where are you in the U.S.? And if I go to your area, I will buy you Panera Chips in, in person. We can eat chips together. We, you know, if you want, we can buy one bag and we can share it. How do you link Twitch usernames to Patreon? There is currently not a way to do that. And I actually have been emailing Twitch back and forth, being like, hey, can we figure this out? Uh, because I want to do that. I want to make that connection. But uh, basically, <clears throat> when I'm doing the giveaways for Patreon, uh, doing it old school, I have a list of names, I do a random number generator, pick a person, or we do the random keyboard, and somebody says stop, I press a key, stop, and we do it that way. Um, it's a lot of fun. There's no, there's no fancy way to do it, though. They don't have that for me yet. Thank you, Lotscribe, for subscribing. We're going to active patrons right there. Uh, where? Sorry. I guess she's here. There's the Duncan Howard. Got him on stream. Ha. All right. Well, congratulations to... Ernie Harold for winning that card pack. All right, guys. So we'll be back. We're going to go look for that next game. Uh, top 16 coming to you live from the Philadelphia System Open. <laughs> 